so you guys were back from the garden and this is everything that we managed to get today uh, tomatoes this is the last of our tomatoes we harvested a lot more some few months ago maybe a month ago so this is just the very last of them and some pumpkin leaves mubora and then there it is hey guys so it started raining while we were at the garden and we had to you know run away from the rain so right now like i said um this is everything that we got from the garden today tomatoes uh pumpkin leaves i didn't know that pumpkin leaves can be cooked with the flowers i just found out recently and today is going to be the second time we're cooking the pumpkin leaves with the flowers the first time i tasted it it was not bad it's okay so today i want to put peanut butter in the pumpkin leaves and cook sadza with that and we're also going to cook okra so the first thing that i want to do is actually wash the things and then get to cooking I didn't know that you can also eat this let me know in the comment section if you knew that when you're cooking pumpkin leaves you can also cook with the flowers so this is how we prepare them so you just take out this part and then open them up remove this from inside and we're just going to cook it all together with the pumpkin leaves if you haven't tried this definitely give it a try the first time i tasted it i was a bit skeptical but it was actually nice it elevates <laughs> the border so once i'm done with this i'm going to start cleaning the leaves one thing about mbora guys you need to clean it thoroughly otherwise it's not going to turn out you don't eat mubora, which is wamadaga, especially during the rain season. It gets very dirty, so you just have to make sure you're cleaning it properly and ensure it's clean before you start cooking.
Eventually. Mmm. in green mash. What's I'm going to enjoy this too. I don't do enough at this. But I was kind of scared. I was kind of which call. I So this is the final product you guys how delicious does this look i really enjoyed this food oh my god it was so yummy hey guys i hope you can see me and i hope you can hear me i'm about to start eating my food now and of course you know this is my signature drink <laughs> um you guys, I've been craving, craving Murio Umbora Nedoi for the longest time. Mm, 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 mm. You guys, it tastes so good. It was worth all the, <laughs> the shakara, the hard work. It was really worth it. I think I've been talking about cooking this peanut butter and pumpkin leaves since last week. But today I finally did it. And it feels really good to know that almost everything on this plate is from my garden, you guys. There is no better feeling to know that you have grown your own food and now you're eating it. Mm. even the peanut butter that i put into the um, pumpkin leaves i made it on my own so your girl is winning <laughs> as the family grows i really need i really you know have to think outside of the box and really try to cut costs in every way possible so anything that i can do for myself anything that i can grow on my own I'm going to do it so I was saying I really want to take my garden seriously this year you know the family is growing and baby is going to add to the number of people who are already here so what I plan to do is cut costs in every way possible if I can grow it if I can what do you call this who could you say <laughs> if I can raise it at home, keep the chickens, for example, I'm going to do it so that we cut costs on food. Food can be the most expensive thing when you've got a big family. My family is a family of how many? Four kids. She poor, um six, seven, including myself. So that means when baby comes, there are going to be eight people in this house that need to be fed in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. And you guys can just imagine, if we are not growing things on our own, if we are not trying to cut, cut costs when it comes to food, our food bill is going to be out of this world. And I'm not ready to do that. So 
I'm really planning on, you know, taking things seriously. So far, we have planted maize. Uh, I told you guys last time, I think I'll show you, I'll put clips at the end of this, that we've got a piece of land uh, that, that's almost the size of our um, yard. So we planted maize there and we also found another piece of land. We asked some people to use it because they're not using it. So we also planted some more maize there. I'll show you guys at the end. And this means that we're not going to be buying any chibage, any maize for sadza for ourselves and also, you know, to feed the chickens. As the number of chicken grows, we need to be feeding uh, that means they need more feed so we're definitely looking into how we can cut costs on that and the first thing we did is planting the maize um it's really doing well we've already put fertilizer and we're hoping for a bumper harvest this year so the next thing that i want to work on is the garden I already have carrots in there we have peppers in there so today we planted onions, we nest some onions and we have okra in there and also the vegetables, you know the ones that are there are getting rotten. I think it's because of the rain, there's been so much rain lately. So we need to replant those, make sure we've got all those things that we need on a weekly basis so that the only thing we are buying is um you know the basics the toiletries and the other things of course like cooking oil sugar and that definitely goes a long way in cutting the cost of the food because you guys food in zimbabwe is not cheap it's not cheaper if you are not careful for a family my size um, you can spend up to 25 to 30 dollars a week depending on what you eat because if you look at breakfast for seven people we're talking about uh like two to three loaves of bread we're talking about eggs we're talking about sugar so breakfast alone can cost you like five to seven bucks and then you need lunch People need to eat meat and things like that. And then dinner. So if you are not careful in a week, you end up spending more than $30. And then there are kids who are going to school who need lunch boxes. You need to buy fruits. You need to, you know, buy all these things. So planting your own things, growing your own things is definitely the way to go. So the other thing that I really want to take seriously is the chickens, you guys. Meat is also another thing that can <coughs> really add on to your budget and make things more expensive. So I'm planning on taking brailers, just a small number at a time so that we can raise them, maybe slaughter them and keep them in our freezer. And also I'm planning on... Um, taking a small number of layers so that we can you know have chickens laying eggs for us and maybe sell the extra and then um the other thing that we eat a lot obviously is beef so last year what we did with hubby is we went to Musha hubby slaughtered a cow for us i vlogged that but i ended up not putting up the vlog i don't know why so happy slaughtered a cow for us and that's what we've been eating for the past like six months so i just thought that was another great idea you guys meat is so expensive right now especially beef <laughs> a cage of beef i think goes for on average five to seven dollars and the kg for us is is nothing it's nothing we need like two kgs and upwards so that was really great for us the meat is almost finished now so it's actually finished we 
have to look into buying another cow maybe slaughtering another cow i have got my own little cow project going but i don't want to slaughter them just yet those ones are like a long-term investment but you can always buy you know if you go to the raw areas you can always buy uh a cow for an you know an affordable price or maybe you can group up with your friends two three four people and then just contribute some money and go and buy a cow slaughter it put it in your freezer and then you know you don't have to worry about meat for the next three four months so that is the plan we are looking at all angles you guys there is no angle that is going to be left you want to eat all your money you know spend all your money on food no ways that is not going to be us in 2023 we are going to be saving. We are going to be saving for more important things. I mean, we've got kids that need to go to school and all those things. Hmm. So, you guys, I think I'll end this video here. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this food, but. I'm feeling full right now and I'm really enjoying our mukbang videos. What do you guys think? Are you enjoying them? Well, I'm just annoying you with my chewing and my drinking of the juice and all that. But I'm really enjoying like this way of filming. It's really laid back and I can just say whatever is on my mind and talk to you guys. So what do you guys think? Do you like this kind of videos? And if you do... What other topics would you like us to talk about while we eat our food? Because this is going to become a thing here on this channel. I, I, I'm I enjoying it way too much. <laughs> way too much for my liking. So I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And leave, leave all your comments in the comment section. Let's continue the conversation about ways to save money in the comment section let me know what you're doing differently this year to save money for your family especially when it comes to food items let me know you guys i really need any form of advice that i can get because eh, the food bill in this house <laughs> it's one thing that will kill me slowly so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye